Welcome to COB channel. The episode for today is amortization. Now, amortization refers to the spreading out of capital expenses for tangible or intangible assets over a specific period. It is similar to depreciation or depletion of assets such as property, plant, and equipment. It is also the process of reducing or accounting for an amount, usually of financial debt, over a period according to a plan. In other words, it lets you know how much interest incurred, how much money to pay or to receive, how much is the amortized cost, and what is the current value of the instrument. Before we jump into making an amortization table, let us first recall the formula of the following. The present value of 1, wherein P is equal to payment, I is equal to effective or market rate, and N is the number of time periods. And present value of annuity and present value of annuity due. This will help us in determining the current value of the debt or instrument as we go along in this episode. With that, let us try some examples in order to better understand how to do amortization. Problem 1. On January 1, 2017, Kusojo Company borrowed 1 million at 10% annual interest for 3 years from Nika Abelor Bank. The current market interest is 8%. The terms of payment, semi-annual interest every July 1 and December 31, and principals will be paid at maturity. Calculate the current value as of January 1, 2017 and provide the amortization table. Now in this problem, we are given here the principal, 1 million, the nominal rate of 10%, the effective rate of 8%, and the terms of payment. In here, in, the, in this problem, we're going to pay interest twice in a year and the principal is at the maturity of the instrument. Hence, our formula to calculate for the carrying value is the PV of PV of 1 for the principal and PV of annuity for the interest. With that, we have the carrying value as of January 1, 2017, a 1,052,421.37. Now, as you can notice, the present value is greater than the pr principal of the note. Hence, in this case, we are at a premium. Premium takes place only if the nominal interest rate is greater than the effective interest rate. So 10% is greater than the 8%. Now with that, let's do the amortization table. So as you can recall, these are the formulas for the interest or the accounting interest, previous carrying value times the effective rate, cash paid, principal times the nominal rate for the interest but at the end of the year or at the, end of, at the maturity date we're going to include as well the principal since the principal is to be paid at maturity as indicated in the problem the amortized cost interest minus cash paid and the carrying value carrying value previews plus the amortized cost now let's begin with the amortization table
Now, let's try another problem. Problem 2. On January 1, 2017, West Gibbons Company borrowed 1 million at 10% annual interest for 3 years from a bank. The current market interest rate is 10% and the terms of payment semi-annual interest every July 1 and December 31 and principal is to be paid at maturity. Now we are given here the same, the same information but different rate. The rate of the, the nominal rate and the effective rate are the same, 10% and 10%. So let's expect that the amortization table at the end of the year will be zero and that the interest and the cash payment will also be the same except for the maturity since the maturity includes also includes the principal. Now first let's calculate the current value. So the carrying value is equal to the principal which is 1 million. Now let's do the amortization table. And that is the amortization table for problem 3. Now there's a trick if in case the, the question asked for the carrying value as of December 31, 2017. Now if you have computed already for the carrying value as of January 1, then let's just equals then answer if in case you're using the two-liner calculator, then this is going to be very helpful. So answer plus answer times the effective rate, which is 0 0.07 plus uh, minus the interest. There. So, equals again, then you'll get the current value for the December 31, 932, 256. Now, just continue the plus sign, then, then you'll get the principal. Now, in this case, the principal was not yet deducted. That is why it's not zero. But if you get at the end of the maturity the principal, then you'll get then you got the amortization right. Now that is our number one tip. Now let's move forward to the problem four. On January 1, 2017, Unison Company borrowed 1 million at 10% annual interest for three years from BPI Bank. 
The current market interest is at 8%, the terms of payment, semi-annual interest, every January 1 and July 1, and principals to be paid at maturity. The first interest payment is paid on January 1, 2017. Now we are asked the same question like the previous example, previous problems, but the information is different. First is, the nominal rate is greater than the effective rate. Hence, we're going to expect it here D, that, the, that, the, that the debt is at the premium. Second, the first interest payment was paid on the day, on the, day the, the debt was acquired. So this is going to be the present value of annuity due. Now let's compute the carrying value first. Wait. As you can see, we have we have not present value D fifty thousand because it was already paid on the day the instrument was acquired. So what we're going to present value are the succeeding interest only. The carrying value of the debt upon the acquisition upon the acquisition is one million six hundred two sixty two thousand rather nine hundred five point six four. Now this current value includes the interest that was in, that was paid on upon the acquisition. Hence this is the carrying value with no payment at all. Now, we're going to include it here in the amortization table. So, as you can notice, we have here the two periods with the two period two same periods because we're going to account here the interest payment. There at January 1, 2017, the carrying value of the instrument upon no payment at all upon acquisition is at the carrying value of 1,062,905 now we're not going to take into account the accounting interest hence it's called going to be zero since the time of the debt has not yet begun See, hence there's not going to be an accounting interest but there's our ordinary payment so we're going to take into account it 50,000 amortized costs And the carrying value of the in of the debt upon payment of the first interest is one hundred rather one million twelve thousand nine hundred six. Now with that, let's continue with our amortization table.
Now, for our last cash pay that the maturity, we're not going to include any more the interest since it was already paid in advance upon the acquisition. Hence, the cash paid only at the maturity will be the principal, which is 1 million. And as usual, the amortized cost should equal to the previous carrying value. And we're going to get zero. So that is the cash, or rather, that is the amortization table for the problem with annuity due. And that ends for this episode. We hope you learn about amortization in this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned at COB channel for more videos. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, or even feedback, just put it in the comment section below. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe!